Good morning, Year One, and welcome to the first of our English lessons for the week. This week, we are moving out into the virtual great outdoors, and we're going to be looking at non-sequential text. So that means text that you can read in any order. And these are non-fiction, not fiction, so they're fact books. But today, we've got a bit of a treat for you. You can be listening to and identifying different out locations in the great outdoors. But before we do that, we've got our grammar starters. So get your whiteboards and whiteboard pens ready. And when you're ready to go, we'll get started. OK, so there you can see people camping, looking down on the city in the great outdoors. And today we're going to be looking at how you can use conjunctions in the great outdoors. So, for example, we're going to look at using the conjunctions with time. Conjunctions are used to link sentences. Can you think of a conjunction you could use in your writing? So try to think of all those conjunctions we used last week. Tell your grown-up. And when you're ready, grown-up, start the video again. So here's some examples of them. And, or, but, so, because, and if those ones we've been using. However, conjunctions are also used to say when something happens. These conjunctions are also called time connectives. The most common ones are when, while, after, before. So, we've got a couple of examples. We played in the lake while the sun was shining. And we climbed the mountains before having lunch. So that's describing some things in this picture. So what I want you to do, have a go at now, is have a go at writing sentences about this picture using when, while, after, before or during to describe the scene. And that's all there is today to today's grammar lesson. And when you're ready, start the, less, the main part of the lesson again. OK, in the main part of the lesson today, your grown-ups are going to be very busy because they're going to have to take on the role of clicking various YouTube links and keeping you focused on what we're doing. But I know they'll do brilliantly. So I'm just going to go through what needs to be done for the grown-ups. So what you're going to need to do, grown-ups, is you're going to need to play each YouTube clip twice. And the YouTube clips are underneath this lesson on the day one lesson plan. First time, get your child to close their eyes, play the clip for about 30 seconds and pause the video. Display this questioning hand on the next slide. I'm just going to move on to that. Only now get your child to open their hands and challenge you open their hands, open their eyes, sorry. Challenge your child to think of a question that will help them to identify where the clip is clipping place. So that's looking at those questions on the questioning hand. Write down that question and then play the video for a second time. This time, play the full video if you want to, but let them watch the video. And then have a go and see if your child can answer their question. If so, write the answer. If not, write a question that they now can answer and then write an answer to that question. And then what I want you to do is repeat the process with each of the clips. It's up to you how many of the clips you do, but at least I would say a minimum of three. When you've finished, ask them to decide which questions were best for finding out where each clip was taking place. And if they can explain why that is, that would be great. So that's basically all that you need to do today, and that's the whole lesson. So you may want to take a photo of this so you can refer to it grown-ups. And when you're ready, start with the first clip. Good luck, year one. I'm sure you're going to do an amazing week's work today. 